Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more Chrome Fire in point and click action. Uh, we are right back where we left off, about to talk to the neighbour of the Mollers to see if she has any information for us. What the hell is all these people doing here? It's like rush hour or something. Um, yeah, before we do so, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so that you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Right, the usual warning. Yes, this episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or disturbing, so just bear that in mind. Let us continue our investigation. Did Mr. come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Mahler put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was the incinerator? I wonder what that was. There he is now! What's he doing? He's burning something. Step Trying away to burn evidence. Get away from there. Don't let him get away. Okay, no Come back here, Moller. Oh, jeez, that had to be like... Roadworks or something, didn't there? Come on, get him. Phelps, come on. Tackle him. Jeez, this guy, honestly. Over the fence, come on. I think I can hear Rusty trying to get him. Jeez, he's quite quick. Come back here. Enough running, Hugo. Hands where we can see them. Trapped him. What are you running away for? Alright, let's have a look at what he's doing here. He's burning his shoes. Wait, there's blood on that. This doesn't look good, Hugo. Oh dear, Hugo. Explain it. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Hmm. Suspicious as hell. I don't know what's home and You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. Do you have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Okay. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Yeah, definitely. Right, let me call this in. Because we've got the little phone icon. What are we calling in, I wonder? I don't actually know. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Go ahead, detective unit. I need an address on a Belmont High School. Galloway, can you shut up? I'm trying to do this. Oh, we need the address of Belmont High School. I see. Seems like a decent guy. I am a decent guy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, police morgue. Okay, so should we go back to the morgue then? See if we can figure out some of this stuff. That might be a good idea before we go to the school. See if we can find out any more information that we can use as evidence. Might be a good idea. Let's go to the morgue. Move. Coming through. Get out of the way. Sirens are on. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband. Nine times out of ten is the closest person to the Vic who does the deal. God knows I, I think that's actually true, isn't it? Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said mm. that without getting all liturgical on it. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. <laughs> try this one. Rusty's razor. How's that go? Rusty's Rusty razor. Ah, uh, of course. The famous ah, yes. Closes cases. That cold. famous There's quote. A lot of people away that one. Okay. Take your word for it. Uh, let's take a left here, shall we? Eleven K to KGBL. We'll take the two eighty eight. Oh, Go ahead wow. with the further. That's close. Apprehend Lurker. Investigate Belmont High School. 
There's a lurker, okay. We'll do that in a sec, we'll go to the morgue first. I just feel like the morgue's the place to go, because the docks obviously found something important. Um, let's go out this way, shall we? I like how the brakes squeak on the cars, I think that's really cool. It's just a little touch, but it makes it that little bit more realistic, doesn't it? It's really cool. Okay, let's go down this road. God, why did this have to happen so far away from the police station or the morgue? Is the morgue in the police station? I think it is, isn't it? Wasn't that the case? Oh, wasn't the morgue like next door or something? I think it was. Oh, wait, no. This isn't... No, this isn't the police station. Central Morgue, 3.52pm. Los Angeles County Morgue. Right, let us see what the good old doc has for us, shall we? Night entrance? Why are we going in the night entrance? Hello. You're right, mate. Phelps, oh, here we go. Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the okay. samples on the bench. We shall. All right, we have to do a little puzzle, do we? Not sure it's that one. Doesn't match. What about this one? It's definitely not that. Which leaves probably this one. I think that looks like it, doesn't it? What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Bell ropes in churches. Interesting. Do we know anyone who's well, looking for a, a sailor involved in churches? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Do we have to... Size eights. Okay. The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do mm. we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Could very well be. Who knows? Let us go. Should we call it in? Is that what we should do? I don't know. Let's see. We'll call it in. There's a phone in here, isn't there? Where's the phone? Oh, there it is. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Thank you, operator. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Are there any messages? Why is it always the same voice on the phone? Ah. wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor statement. Thanks. Right. So the school is definitely the next stop. There's a lurker and also her car has been found by the school playing fields. So we're definitely going there next. Let's jump in, Rusty. Come on. Don't be a Bukowski and take forever to get in the car. Right, Belmont High School it is. High school and adjoining playing fields is the description. Okay, let's go this way. Hopefully it's not too... Jesus. Hopefully it's not too far away. I was just... That was a, a criminal lamppost, Rusty. Just doing some police business on it. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, man. His fault. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. 
wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulse. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if you <laughs> close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Wow. Okay, fair enough. I'll take your word. Get out the road! Really fascinating news flashes on this channel, haven't we? Okay. We can't be too far now, surely. I feel like we're trekking across the whole of LA on this case. What's wrong with people today? It's nothing to do with me, Rusty. They're just turning without looking in the mirrors. Right, putting the sirens on. I've had enough of these guys. Coming through, out the way. Police business. Oh, is this it here, up this road? Well, it's getting dark. Okay, we'll turn the sirens off so the lurker doesn't get scared off. Belmont High School, 6.07 p.m. Where's this lurker? Or is that her car? This is the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. We're keeping okay. a crowd lately. We've had problems with the child molester. This was the same man? What? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about is that this the man lurker? you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. Sicko. So is that him? Last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. There's the son of a bitch now. Hey, it is you. him. Get after him. Go, Belt. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Cut him off. Not gonna have no child molesters here, that is for sure. Let's get this son of a gun. Really? The hurdle thing? Get off this guy. Come on. Come on, Phelps, you can do it. I can't get my gun out. Gonna get this son of a son of a bitch. This sick son of a bitch, come here. Move! Police! Get out of the way. Jeez, I can't catch him up. Phelps, you're so slow. Hurry yourself up, Phelps. I just can't get him. Oh, tap. Oh, there we go. We're sprinting. Yeah, we got him. You're coming with me, you pedo. You're getting locked up. Oh, we got a trophy. Asphalt jungle. Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. You know, know all about you, you sicko. You trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like him a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Look at this guy, man. This guy, we've got to arrest him. I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. The golden butterfly. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. He's got the brooch. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. Yeah, you're going down, mate. 
You're going to be real popular in prison, that is for sure. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the car, isn't it? Wow, there's the rope. Blood and skin samples. That is the rope we were looking for. Here. Do we need to do anything else with that? Or okay, this looks like the weapon, the murder weapon. Well, not the murder weapon, but it's from a, a weapon. Could be important. It's from a Chrysler. Interesting. And what's this bloody clothes? Is that what the murderer was wearing? The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. Oh, it could be Muller. Could be Eli as well. We don't know much about him. Okay. So we've got a call central. Um, how the hell do we do that? There's no phone around here. Oh, there's one all the way over there. Let's drive to that. I can't be bothered to run to it. Oh, that's not our car. <laughs> Our car's over by the phone. I see. Alright, let's use this phone. We'll call it in. Phelps, blah, 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 blah. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Yes, Certainly it's detective. interrogation time. Thank you. Okay, return to Central for interrogations. That is what we shall do. In you get, Rusty. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he no. had the jewelry, the DA will love him for it's it. It's possible. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let I get Mueller what you're saying. For a while. But if he Moller did it, then we have to arrest Moller for that. And surely we can pin Rudy on some sort of pedophile charge. In his backyard, and that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said well, it was. Yeah, that's true. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Bell. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. Really want to run that risk? It's a tough one, isn't it? Oh, look at that for a bit of professional driving, guys. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Right, we're going to turn the sirens on because we need to get back and question these guys. And it's very busy on the roads. It's, what a beautiful evening it is, though, on this game. It's lovely animation, isn't it? For the, the night time with all the lights and the sunset sky. It's great. Whoa! Okay, there we go. Central Police Station, 7.34pm. Time to interview... Well, I guess both of them. And then we'll arrest which one we think we should, I guess. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Is that what we do? Who do we talk to here? Where do we... Go into... Who's in which room? Viewing room. Okay, is he... Oh, we can look through. Right, there's Mola. Let's talk to Mola first. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. <laughs> I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Well, disposal of the evidence. Why did you burn Let's ask you shoes, about that. Hugo, because I knew you'd never believe me. I think he's telling the truth. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin him. Wow, okay, that is... A big chunk of evidence against him gone then. Okay, access to braided rope. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Did you now? No, look, he swallowed and he's shifting eyes. Right. Do we have anything that shows that he knows about ropes? No. 
No, we don't. Right, bad cop. You learned to strangle with the rope in yes. the army? Yes. With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's Fair enough. sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple bray. Less flex, easier to control. And that is what was used. Right, access to a tire iron. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Well, he is lying. Okay. Well, we've got the bloody tire iron, haven't we? So we can just use that. You're it's lying, in his car. Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. I have. We've got a bloody tire iron from your roof, uh, from your, your boot. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. And it's from a Chrysler. That explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Victim's vehicle recovered. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Wrong. We found them in your boot. Uh, down here, look, overalls. And they've got his initials on it. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. They're in the boot of your car. Or your wife's car, at least. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Well, charge him or leave the interrogation? Um, I think, let's leave him for now. We'll go and speak to the pedo in the next room. See what happens with that. And then we can charge which one we think. That's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? Uh, where is he? Where's Rusty gone? Is he down here? Is it here? Where the hell is the other one? Rusty, where are we going? Where's the other one? Oh wait, is it in here? No, patrol room. Where the hell is the other... Here for that car. Interview room. Oh, this way. Oh, interview room one. Here we go. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Ah, so if we lock up Moller, the captain will still be taking care of Rooney. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Okay, footprints at the crime scene. Let's take a look at that. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I can get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. Let's have a look. No, he's shifty as hell, but I don't think we have anything about him, do we? It's going to have to be bad cop. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Yeah, well, you're sick. Son, nobody's perfect. Place of employment. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. No, he's lying. We have no evidence on this guy, though. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. Ah. Yeah, this place, big yellow letters, HM out front. HM? Hey, workwear, Eli? Sure. Green cover on. Aha. So. Sailor. Or involved in 
see stuff, had access to the rope, didn't he? He had the coveralls, could be his, victims, or the overalls, I should say. It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Yeah, answer the question. Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. I think he's telling the truth. So he does have access to the... Rope, I'm more like you, Eli. I must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid. Tie hitching braid stays tight. Okay. Motive for the Muller murder. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. He's looking shifty as hell. We don't have anything except the brooch, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Bad cop. You have no job, and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. Mm. And I went over and I picked it up. So, I don't think either of them did it. I think we have got a serial killer on our hands. But I don't want this guy to get away because he's a sicko. So we're going to arrest him. It definitely wasn't the husband, I don't think. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. Doesn't matter. We're locking you away for the time being anyway. Certainly wasn't the husband, I don't think. So, seeing as it was Rabbit's blood, it fits him more. Although I'm not convinced it was him. Ah, uh, Phelps, Galloway, congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys. Thank you, sir. I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Agreed. But there's going to be more to this case. I've just got a feeling. I think there's a serial killer. Okay. Clues found. 12 out of 12. Questions correct. 14 out of 15. Damn, we got that one wrong. A bit of damage case notes Eli Rooney can expect our warm welcome from Captain Donnelly and the district attorney we got five stars even though we got a question wrong sometimes I don't understand how the rating system works in this game uh, but that is going to do it for this episode guys uh, because we are out of time so as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on the like button it really does help the channel to grow so I do appreciate it Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you knew or just haven't already done so. And I will see you all next time.